Hello everybody, just wanted to do a update on the Diamond C deck over tilt trailer. We've had it for about a year now, so just wanted to tell you some of the things we've learned about it. So overall, it's been a great trailer, has uh, really, really been working out well. Um, no, no major issues at all. It, it works awesome with, with the tilt and the winch on top. You can pull broken equipment on there and vehicles. So overall been great. Um, a few things to note if you're buying one of these. So we, we move a lot of forklifts and scissor lifts and that sort of thing. And the back here has got a major dent. I don't know if you can quite tell in the video here, but there's just not much support there. So here once eventually once we get a new deck on there, we'll cut this out and put put something something a bit stronger there. And also once again it's just got this massive edge that's probably if you're moving larger things like tractors, skid steers, that sort of thing, but if you're moving forklifts and equipment like that, it's a little rough. Um, one other thing to note on it too is the support over the wheels here is not not as great as you may hope. Um, as you can see here, I've bent it. It's probably bent down a quarter of an inch, but if you take a look underneath, there's just very little support there for equipment. Um, so just use caution there because once again, when we redo the deck, we'll add some support there, but I wish there would, would have been some support there. It's a pretty common issue for deck over trailers though, not to have any support over the wheels like that. But over time it starts to really bend and you can actually start to, <laughs> the deck will start to lay on top of your wheels. So it's definitely not a, not a good situation. And then a few other things to note is we went and got a got our annual DOT inspection for this trailer and one of the side marker lights here quit working which is not a huge deal just a pain to replace so this one quit working and then one of the marker lights on the rear quit working um, so that was it's just a bit unfortunate after a year of use that I think it was this one quit working and it was just a connection issue um, but the biggest thing that was an issue was turns out the passenger side brakes on the axles weren't working only one side was working so i don't know how long that had been an issue um but we were able to get it fixed it was just the one of the wire connectors pulled out for the brakes so one side wasn't working so overall been a great trailer but just wanted to give a give a year update on it so the deck seems to be holding out pretty well so far and the one other thing i would note with this is if anybody's looking for getting the gooseneck version that's the deck over tilt i would recommend getting uh going for like the 26 foot this is a 22 foot and as you can see the tires are they're they're almost they're, they're close to close to the middle of the trailer so i i know that diamond c has all the specs on their site but we just didn't quite realize that when we bought it because here we're lined up pretty close to our other PJ tra trailer here, and you can see its uh, its tires are a bit of uh, oh, quite a ways further back. So, anyway, overall, been a great trailer. Thanks for watching.